They're tank busters, sir. P-51s. <laughs> Angels on our shoulders. What, sir? Mrs. Ryan, it's with the most profound sense of joy that I write to inform you your son, Private James Ryan, is well and at this very moment on his way home from European battlefields. Reports from the front indicate James did his duty in combat with great courage and steadfast dedication, even after he was informed of the tragic loss your family has suffered in this great campaign to rid the world of tyranny and oppression. I take great pleasure in joining the Secretary of War, the men and women of the United States Army, and the citizens of a grateful nation in wishing you good health and many years of happiness with James at your side. Nothing, not even the safe return of a beloved son, can compensate you or the thousands of other American families have suffered great loss in this tragic war. But I might share with you some words which have sustained me through long, dark nights of peril, loss, and heartache. And I quote, I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement and leave you only the cherished memory of the loved and lost and the solemn pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom Abraham Lincoln, yours very sincerely and respectfully, George C. Marshall, General, Chief of Staff. <laughs> 